So in this video we're going to be replacing the digitizer screen and the LCD on this uh, Nexus 7. It's the first generation model and uh, the problem with these is you have to buy the digitizer and screen together. They come pre-glued together and uh, on here it's actually glued down to the LCD digitizer itself and without specialised equipment it's near enough impossible to separate them at home anyway. So I'm going to start at the base here where the speaker and the uh, power jack is and I'm just using these little plastic pry tools again to actually pry off this rubber plastic back in here away from the bezel. So again it's just taking your time getting in there. Getting those little tabs to click. So that's that removed. So now that we've got the back off, one of the first things we're going to do is actually disconnect the actual battery itself. Now we don't have to remove the battery, but we do have to disconnect it here. And it slides on, so I'm pushing towards the battery in that direction. I'm just using my plastic spudger just to wiggle that connection out a little bit at a time, rocking it from side to side on its edges. Now what we want to do is actually remove this black tape here and it's covering some of the connectors for the LCD and digitizer etc and we've got to release those. So I can already tell you that somebody's been in this uh, Nexus 7 before because the guy I bought it off on eBay he had already had it repaired once and he smashed it again and he didn't want to actually uh, pay out for another repair but uh, the local shop that he's taken it to or wherever he took it to to get repaired couldn't be bothered to put all the screws back in so there's actually screws missing there and I can already tell that this tape has been off once because it's puckered at this corner here so we've got to remove that black tape to expose the ribbon connectors underneath gently peel it back try not to rip this tape and then pop up the clip on this ribbon cable with your spudger and then you can just lift that cable out of its connector We've got another ribbon cable here and we've also got to remove this black tape here so again really careful Try not to tear it. So then we release these ribbon cables again, pop the connectors up with a spudger, and then we can slide those out. And get those out of the way. So once you've got the ribbon cables detached you just go around the Nexus 7 now and removing those fillet head screws. So when you've gone around and removed the Phillips screws from all around the sides, these here, then you're just left with the base, which is where the speaker housing is, and we're going to remove that screw, this one, that black one there, that silver one there, and there's another little sneaky one underneath this tape here.
So once you've got all the screws removed, then get a plastic pry tool and gently start to lift out that motherboard. Now this ribbon here, this actually folds down underneath the battery and runs along in that direction. You can just about see it there. And that um, normally has some double sided tape on there that just uh, adheres it to the actual screen itself. So just be careful with that. Um, you can get in there with a pry tool in your fingers and gently tease it away from the back of the LCD so you don't damage this cable. But you want to lift it up and make sure that you feed these through. You lift it up and out of the way and this particular cable on this unit wasn't stuck down reason being because I believe it's been taken apart once before so uh, you can just see it's got some sticky tape on there so what we do now is put this out of the way somewhere safe so now we want to remove this ribbon cable off the old screen to transfer to our new one so we'll gently pull that away Put that to one side. Now what we're going to have to do is heat up the glue on here to try and separate this from this plastic bezel. Now this plastic bezel is quite fragile but uh, I'm not using the heat gun that I normally use for iPads etc. I'm just going to use a hairdryer because I don't want to end up melting this plastic. So typical air dry, nothing special. So what I'm going to do is apply heat to this side and also because it's not going to get as hot as the uh, other heat going to use, apply heat here to the plastics around here and hopefully soften up some of that glue. So I'm going to start on this corner first. It's nice and hot. I'm going to use quite a sharp knife to try and get it started. and use a guitar pick just to prevent it from sticking back down it's actually coming away a lot easier than I thought it would So now it's cooled off a little bit, I'm going to apply a bit more heat. So I'm just gently teasing it apart. I'm not rushing anything. You don't want to break or crack that bezel. So that's the bezel completely off the screen. It's come away a lot easier than what I thought it would. And uh, all the tape's still in place apart from this small section here where the glass is just absolutely shattered and it was all stuck to the tape so what I did is just cut away there so what I'm going to do is just cut a small piece to uh, replace that a dual sided tape and uh, then we can uh, stick our new screen back on this bezel and it really is important to take some time at this stage as well and really go round and make sure there's no little pieces of glass left in there because it will just shatter your new screen if you leave any glass in there so now we're ready to attach our new digitizer and LCD screen to this bezel. As you can see there, I've patched up that little bit there. So uh, there's plenty of sticky still left on this, so it'll definitely be okay. So what I'm going to do, make sure that's tucked away. I'm going to start at the top here. Get it into position. slowly lower it down and 
I'm not really putting any pressure on these sides yet, I'm just making sure it's in that groove of the bezel. So now that I'm happy that it's where it's supposed to be, I'm going to put it onto a cloth and then apply a little bit more force around this bezel so we get a good contact all the way around. So attach the ribbon cable to our new LCD, lift up that locking clip. So now we're ready to put the motherboard back. So we'll feed that ribbon cable through there. And now we'll put all the screws back in and then connect all the ribbons up. And remember the black screws are slightly longer than the silver ones because they have to go through the speaker housing and then down to the chassis so they have to be a little bit longer. This ribbon cable here, you don't really have to disconnect this one, but I do because, um, like I say, I know it's stuck to uh, the bottom of the chassis here and the last thing I want to happen is for that to rip out of that socket and uh, actually break it, so I just take it out as a matter of course. Same method as for taking it out, just rock it uh, backwards and forwards on its corners. So the digitizer is working fine, it seems to be just as responsive as uh, an original Nexus 7 and uh, it's cost me £17 off eBay plus £4.50 shipping for a broken crack screen Nexus 7 off eBay and uh, it's cost me unfortunately £35 for a brand new digitizer and LCD from uh, a Chinese shop off eBay again. Free shipping though, but uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, separating these two when they're glued together is near on impossible. Uh, don't go buying the digitizer on its own because uh, you'll end up cracking the screen, getting it off, and just gluing the new one back on is a uh, work of art in itself. And when you see videos of people doing it on YouTube, it's because they've normally got expensive equipment to actually uh, do that kind of thing. So, uh, as always, if you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up, and I'll uh, see you for the next one.